very much. It's been 65 years since Elizabeth Eckford, along with eight other African-American students, desegregated Little Rock Central High. The Little Rock Nine made history that day. Fast forward to today, and Eckford returned to the historic site to speak to the student body for the first time. Our Riley Birdwell joining us in the studio after speaking with her and the students about this very special occasion. Riley. Donna, Kevin, Elizabeth Eckford says she's been waiting for this moment for a long time. And the students that she got the privilege of hearing, or they got the privilege of hearing her speak, say that it was an honor to listen to her and that they hope to be able to carry on the legacy she left behind. Today, it's a peaceful place, but 65 years ago, it was anything but. I have to be cautious about talking about change because uh, sometimes when you talk about um, change too optimistically, it overshadows the difficulties that, are, that continue. After so many years, Elizabeth Eckford retraced her steps, this time to speak to the students at Central High School. It was a thrill for me, it really was. It's an opportunity that I had hoped for for a while, and um, I was pleased with their attentiveness and uh, that they were uh, considered the subject seriously. Students captivated by her words. I think having her come and speak and watch videos about her and the experience that she went through, I think we still have to uh, talk about it because there are people who still don't know or maybe they want to know and they just haven't, or maybe they don't want to know, but they should. And to round out Elizabeth Eckford's time at Central High, a group of artists dedicated a mural to her. We were really just inspired specifically by Elizabeth Eckford and the trauma that she endured um, during her first few days, or just like her whole year here. As a symbol of, of, uh, of, of liberty, and uh, of, of equal, the possibility of equal rights. And then there's a 15-year-old teenager with uh, her mind clo uh, close to her chest as a shield. Eckford was also there to speak about her book, The Worst First Day, which is where she describes her first day at Central High School. If you're interested for more information, you can visit our website at fox16.com. Reporting in studio, I'm Riley Birdwell. Back to you guys. All right.